Alrighty guys, welcome to the next video in the series. Today we're talking about the 40cc P1 Eskimo Propane Auger. Coming up next. Alrighty guys, uh, today's video is all about this auger. We're gonna make this short and quick, just like the other one. Uh, we're just gonna talk about it very shortly, fire her up, let her know how she's working, and then that'll be the video. The couple of things that I do like about this auger is that it is propane uh, and that the oil burns very clean in it. You don't have to do a lot of oil maintenance in the propane augers at all for the most part. They pretty much take care of themselves. The propane is very clean burning fuel, so that's a bonus as well. It's also very cheap, so hey, there you go. Uh, the drill itself has worked very well for me this past year. I've owned this drill for uh, 18, 20 months or so. Uh, the one problem that I had when I first started operating it was the screw would back out holding the shaft to the actual engine block itself. Uh, I just uh, Loctited it right into the shaft So you, re you really got to torque it off if you want this to come off um, Any other issues? Oh, it does kind of leak a little bit oil does leak out of the oil filter slightly when you've been running it all day even when you fire it up, uh, it does drip a little bit. That could be because my oil filter is probably dirtier than piss, but uh, that is one thing that I notice. So if you have something on it, below it, near it, it will get some oil on it. So you do have to be careful for that. Uh, other than that, she works great. She's a little dirty right now because she's been in the garage for since last March or so. Really haven't fired her up at all. She usually fires in the first one or two pulls. Uh, I anticipate probably three or four to get her going. Other than that, she works great. I have gone through one pair of auger blades. Uh, I drilled the hole in sand by accident last year through the ice, and it just screwed up the auger blades, so I had to get a new pair. Other than that, they've been flawless. Uh, they chip right through the ice. They do get a little dull if you start pounding a bunch of holes and putting a lot of pressure on the auger. Other than that, it works great, guys. Uh, great price. Uh, this is the 10 inch, not the 8 inch. Uh, if I had the 8 inch, it'd work great too. Uh, but even the uh, the gasoline ones work pretty well. I just don't like how you got a carb maintenance and the, the gasoline. I'm not a fan of it. But uh, other than that, this has worked great. It's been super solid. It fires on the coldest of days and it runs all the time. So, uh, other than that, let's fire up. Little base plate. This thing's held up pretty good. Even the little rubber band on it held, holds pretty nice. Uh, yeah, haven't had anything break here yet either. Let's tip you up, get you a better view, yeah? Ugh. All you guys gotta do is just take this little lever down, give it, five, ten seconds just to let it cycle through for the first time of the year. I always like to kind of give her a little, little bit of gas. Runs pretty smooth, eh? That was the fifth pole. Uh, pretty smooth, honestly. You just gotta give it some prime time, just like a Mr. Buddy here. The propane does have to cycle through. So, other than that, she fired right up. Pretty happy with her. Uh, I'd advise anybody to buy this one. It's worked great for me. And I really haven't heard a whole lot of bad reviews about it. Like I have the Jiffy and other propane augers that just don't hold up very well. So. With that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. Have a good day, guys. That one might look a little rough. Keep in mind, I put absolutely zero pressure on the, the, the blade itself. It dug its hole completely on its own. Thanks for watching, guys. Love it and love you. We'll see you in the next one.